Sports. It's in the game. What is going on guys? It's your boy Kralo coming at you with another Madden 16 video and guys I apologize I have not been doing any videos because I've been out of town on business But I am back. I am in full effect and today we're gonna go ahead and do an NFL combine pack opening and talk a little bit about these NFL combine players that have been released into Madden Ultimate Team. So let's go ahead and check out some of these solos that we have Madden Ultimate Team that give us a little bit of a glimpse into the combine players that we have. So currently we have Robert Griffin III, right next to him we have Charles Johnson, Jared Cook, Bud Dupree, Bruce Irvin, Jason Kelsey, and Brandon Cooks. Now Laron Landry and also Torrey Smith, these are limited edition cards that EA will be dropping throughout the week. Now. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick look at Robert Griffin III to see what it takes to do one of these sets. As you can see, you will need a wild card, any combine collectible, the 40-yard dash, you need three of those. You need a vertical jump, you'll need three of those. You also need the broad jump, three of those. Those are elite collectibles and actual player. Now, this is where things get absolutely insane and crazy. To do the Chris Johnson, you need 40 items. 40 items. You need wild card, any combine warrior collectibles. Uh, you'll need specific elite combine collectibles as well. But where things get really, really tricky, and as I started scrolling through this and I realized that I was going to have to invest a pretty penny to get this thing done, you will need to get each player, each one. So there's like an 88 or an 89, a uh, 91 or a 92 and a 96. You're going to need all those players in order to do Chris Johnson. Now that's going to get pretty expensive. That is why the card is so expensive right now. Going for anywhere between, I want to say it's like two, 2.5, 3 million, which is just insane for a halfback right now. I'm going to stick with my Emmett Smith. I'm probably going to go ahead and pull out David Johnson and since he has some great speed, but I don't think I'll be doing this card anytime soon. But you know what? He has B stats. Looks absolutely amazing. Uh, two cards that I really want to go ahead and get out of all this is his Bruce Irvin. Amazing. 6'3", 95 speed, 80 strength, 96 acceleration, 96 tackle, 87 play rec, 90 block shedding, 99 pursuit, and 94 hit power. Looks like an animal. And the next card I want to get is Bud Dupree. He is 6'4", 94 speed, 86 strength, 96 acceleration, and 94 hit power animal guys animal he will be on the squad no doubt about it guys and i'm hoping that when i go ahead and open up these packs i might pull him as my topper so let's go ahead and check this out we got combine packs you can go ahead and get a combine pack two of them for 700 points you can also get a combine pro pack special time offer where you get one combine collectible it's guaranteed uh one gold or a leader better and nine other players for 150 points but you know what we're not going to do that we're going to go ahead and open up these bundles we have two types of bundles we have the 11 combine pack bundle and the three combine pack bundle the 11 combine pack bundle gives us 11 packs with a topper a guaranteed topper i believe they're like the, the top one, the 95, the 96, the 97 toppers, and that's what we want. So we're going to go ahead and open up this bundle real quick here and check out what we can pull. And I'm believing that I'm going to pull something great, guys. I can feel it. So wish me luck. Let's go ahead and rip into this bundle. We have our Elite Combine topper player. We'll open that at the end. And we have our 11 Combine pack. So here we go, baby. Let's see if we can get some red paint. Let's see if we can get a red Elite. And our first red Elite is a 60-yard shuttle. Can we get a player nope that's it there we go so that's our first pack we get a 60 yard shuttle combine collectible let's see what the next pack will give us can we get an elite player we're always going to see you some red flashing because we need these collectibles we pull a 20 yard shuttle collectible which you can go ahead and put in the set but that's not what we're looking for let's get into the next pack and see what we can pull right here hopefully we can pull an elite player we pull another 60 yard shuttle and there we go we got Altron Vernon, Aqib Talib, and a Preston Smith so we get Aqib Talib base uh, elite and we also get Preston Smith all rookie player not bad we'll take those they're probably not going for a whole lot right now but you know what an elite is an elite and we will take it now let me know in the comment section guys if you pulled anything great out of your combine packs knowing me man I'm gonna go ahead and rip one bundle but I'm I, if I pull something great, I'm going to go ahead and do another. If I don't pull anything great, I'm probably going to do another one anyways. Uh, here we go. We got Ryan Kerrigan out of our pack. We're looking for something outside of these base elites. These base elites are great. They're great for the positional collections, but honestly, we want other stuff. Like We want that 94 Mariota, things that will sell some of those elite 
campus heroes as well that would be freaking awesome there we go we pull another preston smith as we go back and we check this out we have preston smith uh we'll go ahead and save him hopefully when they come out with a set with all rookie players we pull a broad junk collectible and let's see what else we can pull right here man these packs right now are not in my favor it's looking really really rough but we're going to continue on we're going to press on believing that we're going to pull something something of value there we go 40 yard dash there we go we get jamal charles we'll use him for the halfback positional but i won't lie i want something better guys i think we all want something better out of this pack opening right now so we'll go ahead and just go further on we got mikey potty not bad there we go we pull ali marpet let's get it baby oh there we go we pull a stefan diggs i am that's what i'm talking about stefan diggs ali marpet and mikey potty out of a pack not bad at all man this is a really really nice pack let's check out stefan diggs stats he's six foot 95 speed, 94 catch, 96 elusiveness, 93 spec, 81 release, 96 route running, 88 catch, and 93 jumping. A definite deep threat in the game. I'll probably use him on my budget squad that I have on the Xbox One. But right here, I'm looking at run blocking. He's got 49 run blocking, so not that great in that department. We got Ali Marpet. He's 90 strength. 80 awareness, 69 agility, 75 speed, 86 acceleration, 95 run blocking, 84 pass blocking, and 91 impact. Now, earlier today, we went ahead and pulled our Mutt Rewards pack, and we got Brandon Brooks out of our pack, which we it was a nice upgrade from Trey Turner. But I'm thinking right here, I might use this Ali Marpet, honestly, if we go ahead and decide to do that Stephen Gilmore. So not a bad pack at all. Let's see what we can go ahead and pull in this next pack. Can we pull some more elites? We pull an elite bench press collectible and that's it right there now i think i have one more pack to go and then we get into the elite topper so hopefully our last pack will yield us something great uh we're seeing if we get a little bit of red flash we get a 20 yard shuttle collectible and that's about it so let's go ahead now and get into the elite combine topper and like i mentioned in the beginning of the video what i want is bud dupree or i want bruce Irvin. so let's go ahead and open this pack and let's see what we can pull and we get Charles Johnson 96 right in let's go ahead and check out his stats that's not what I was looking for but that's okay man we'll probably sell this guy go pick up what we want his stats right now he's got 85 speed 96 strength not bad for a right end 92 acceleration 90 tackle 88 block shedding 99 power move 75 finesse and 90 play recognition so not a bad card right there we'll take it like I said we'll go ahead and sell him and beef up the squad with the cards that we want but let's go ahead and check out right here what his hit power is to me that's always important at your end position and if we can go ahead and dig into this a little bit deeper we'll find that right there 96 hit power not bad at all for this card so again guys if you like this video hit stick that like button leave me some comments in the comment section of things you like to see i really do appreciate you guys coming out and checking out your boy this is your boy Kralo. much love peace out